Everyone, how's it going? Sorry if I don't look the best right now. Uh, it's late at night and I just got back home, but uh, waiting for me at my front door was this. But this is not the exciting part. What's exciting is what was inside the envelope, and that was this right here. Been waiting for this for a while. Very cool. So essentially what this is is a uh, metal-made jigsaw piece. You'll see what it looks like once I open it up, but I'm just going to read what's on the back here, and then I'll show it to the camera as I always do so that people know exactly... Uh, what to expect with uh, the items that I showcase in these unboxing videos. Uh, so basically it just says it's a metal jigsaw piece limited to 5,000 worldwide, uh, individually numbered, and there's a display stand included, which is great. I'll be able to sit it next to all the other Banjo-Kazooie related things that I've uh, unboxed on this channel. So, let's get into it and I'll open it up. I don't think I'll need my knife for this one. There's a little small incision, whatever, or hole already in the plastic at the front, so let's do this. Even this little cardboard box that came in is pretty neat. I normally throw away uh, boxes that things come in if they don't look all that great, but I'll probably hang on to this one. It's, you know, got a nice little work of art of its own, so... Anyway. Yeah. Pretty cool. So there it is. That's what's written on the back. And... Yeah, I really like the fact that it's got the Benji kazooie logo on at least two of the sides. Alright, now to take this part off. Cool, yeah. There's uh, nothing much to speak of in this part here. But yeah, there it is. I'll keep my finger just here for the time being so it doesn't fall out. And if it does, it's going to land on my laptop that's right here. Okay. No worry, I can leave my finger off of it. It's not going to fall out. I gotta say, that's pretty cool. So, alright, I'm going to take this out now. Ah, Word to the wise. That corner is actually a little bit sharp. Hmm, nice. That's actually got a decent amount of weight to it. I mean, yeah, it's made of... I don't know what exact type of metal this is. I assume it's probably just steel that's painted in gold, but... Alright, there it is. And... Okay, on the back, uh, 0848 is the number. Written right beneath the Banjo-Kazooie logo. So, that is... Pretty damn cool. I'm happy with this. And if you're wondering what this little smudge is there, I think that might be... I don't know. I, I'm going to say it's... Oh, it looks like rust, but... I don't know. I'm not really a expert with metal, so... In regards to how much this weighs... Hmm. More than this Logitech mouse, that's for sure. Anyway. Look, I'm not really good with guessing weights when it comes to things that are in grams, but... Uh, what else do I have here? Yeah, okay, so what I have here is a thin 2 terabyte Seagate hard drive. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but they, yeah, these things feel like they weigh exactly the same amount. So, uh, I don't know, if I find out exactly what this weighs in grams, I'll maybe add it in subtitles or in the description of this video, but, yeah, I think this is really all there is to showcase, and if anyone's really interested in knowing what it looks like on the sides, that's it. It's not really any designs or logos or anything like that on the side, and of course I see this number the second I say that. Oh, it just says Microsoft. So, yeah, I guess that means that this thing was definitely released after Nintendo no longer had the rights to the Banjo-Kazooie franchise, and then they were purchased by Microsoft. But, yeah, either way, that's pretty cool. Now, I was promised something about a stand. It looks like that's it down below. Looks like just a really small... Uh, stand that you get for magazines and stuff like that, and I'm trying uh, to not... What the... Hang on. So I was trying not to use too much force because I didn't want to snap it. I'm not sure how fragile that is. I'm not even sure if there's a specific technique to taking this out, but... Yeah. This stuff, I could take that off, but it's glued down, so I don't particularly want to rip anything by being uh, too brutal with it, so... Hang on. Let me just fiddle around here and see if I can take this out, and I'll skip ahead once I've actually figured it out and remove it. Okay, so as I found out, this stand comes in two pieces of plastic, and they were sitting on top of each other like so. So what you have to do is uh, just take the top one off, and then the other one comes out pretty easily. So when assembling it, it's pretty straightforward. You take this part here with the, uh, the hole through it. Then you take this other little part here, and you just simply do this. Just loop that through here. There you go. Connects on, like so. And now, let's see how well this uh, sits it. Alright, that's pretty cool. There we go. 
I was wondering how the stem was going to work just in relation to uh, the shape of the jiggy, but anyway, that's basically how it works. You know, these it lines up perfectly with these two bottom parts, and so, yeah, that's really all there is to it. So, nice, I'm going to put it up on my shelf now and see how that looks. Well, I'll be honest, I think this thing sitting right here next to my collection of other Nintendo-based things looks pretty cool. With that being said, I think this looks a lot better. I don't know, there's just something about leaving it in the box that looks pretty cool. The box itself almost looks like a glorified frame around a portrait. So I do like the fact that they added a stand in order to give us that option if we want to display it that way, but uh, personally I think I'm going to keep it inside the box. You know, the box looks pretty neat as well, so yeah, this is going to be the way that I'm going to leave this on display. Well, that about covers it, so all in all, thanks for watching this video, and uh, if you want to go pick one of these up, at least where I got it from on eBay, it was pretty affordable. Now, keep in mind, I live in Australia, and I had to import this one from the UK, uh, so hopefully if you do get one, you'll be one of the lucky people that's able to get one of the 5,000 that's out there, but I paid, and it was free shipping, but I paid 36 Australian dollars for this, which I gotta say, in my opinion, is kind of a steal when you consider... Uh, how rare these things are and I don't care if it's made of real gold or brass or whatever It's you know still something that's pretty neat looking and I really do like it So I think it looks really nice on my shelf uh, But anyway, yeah that wraps this video up. So as always thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. Go play some games